Alright! Oh, ho, ho, no! Oh, not the lag. Welcome back, guys. Um, well, as you can see, I'm in Fort Talos. Just testing my damage a little bit. So, the plan is to convert myself into a paladin build. I know I have vitality a little bit. Um, I just didn't bother, like, upgrading magic. I'm like, eh, well, whatever, you know? So, right now... I'm a full mage technically, and I'm doing 298 damage. So I just want to see, right, with the same build, everything and whatever, right? If I convert to a paladin, how much would I do still, right? Like, obviously I want to get more HP, but in exchange, I should uh, lose some power. I, I don't know. Well, we will have to see. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna reset stat here. Oof. Uh, yeah, sure, we will reset. So, the plan is to go for 150 magic and the rest into vitality because we only want pulsar magic and javelin. What's it? In surge? Um, not much to it really, but okay. We have swapped to paladin. That also means we can imbue our magic, right, with spirit energy. So you can imbue your spirit, right, by clicking H, similar to Conjure. And like, well, you'll consume like about like 1% of your HP every hit. It's, it's nothing much, but you can also turn off the imbuement if you want, so see. And you know, same thing, right? We can... Equip our uh, necklace weapon. Do we have it? Should be in the weapon section. It's called. I don't know. It's a heirloom. It's like a necklace, but it's like a spear magic weapon. <laughs> you can only use one of the abilities so far. So that's that. You can also imbue it with gold magic, which I'll test them both, right? So for now, no imbuement. We need no imbuement real quick. So we can test out like the base damage. Oh, I didn't. I forgot. I removed your entire list of spells. So um, that means we have to make everything again. I hate this actually. Um, because that means we lose our pulsar, right? Like the scroll, the lost spells, basically. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Now the problem is, I don't know the exact setting I had for my last one. So maybe minor difference in damage, but let's see, right? Um, this one I think I had for explosion. Let's just do something like normal for now. Like I'll get the basic, right? Then I can show you guys it with like aura and like whatever other magic that we'll do, right? And aura. Yeah, sure. Let's just do C for now. Um, I'll fix the keybinds later. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. So we do 230, right? We gain 400 HP, right? We lose about what? Um, not that much. We lose about 40 damage. Well, kind of 50, 50 ish damage, right? Now, if we imbued it with spirit energy. They're the same thing by the way, like both of these imbuement, they're the same thing visually and damage wise I believe. So, boom, okay we got 30 damage, right? A loss of about 38 damage, right? Right, you lose 38 damage, but you gain 400 HP, which I think this is kind of busted, right? You have 2k HP, you're like a walking ray box bro, like, look at this. Oh, that I got a Discord message. Well, um, yeah. Well, um, excuse me, guys. But yeah, as you can see, like, I don't think they tested this at all, right? Like, you don't even need math to explain that this is a really good deal, right? In terms of trade, in like damage and like HP ratio. So I mean, like, what is there to say, guys? I mean, like. I know you lose HP every time you cast it, but look at the de HP decrease. Even if I spam left click, it wouldn't decrease it by much. 
See? Right? It consumes a little bit. Yeah, it, it's barely anything. Unless you're taking damage at the same time, you wouldn't really take too much damage. Now, the only bad part about this is you, you lose resistant. The stat resistant completely. So, resistant stat is useless for you if you're a vitality build. But then again, nobody really used resistant stat because most of the boss item and whatever, right? They don't give you resistance. So like, like besides the metal bracelet that I'm using, like it's 10 bro. Like that's 3.3% reduced if you're casting a spell. That's nothing. Bro, like I feel like they didn't test this again. Like what is going on guys? Like You know, did like you know the, is the update rushed it again or what happened? Like just imagine Paladin in the future. They get shape magic, right? Shape magic is what allows us to hit 298 with, with like a full mage, I believe, right? And shape magic, you need 220 magic, right? So if you look at my magic, you need about 70 more stats to use shape magic for blast attack. So, wait, I just charged it, by the way. That damage number, I charged it, so... Yeah, I mean like, just imagine we get shape magic, right? Then it will be no difference. There will be no difference between a paladin and a full mage. Like... Hello? Like... This is really good. Anyways, well... Paladin is obviously gonna be semi-meta until they nerf this. Like... Well, maybe when we make a video about it. Like, YouTubers making video. And... You know, we're basically the tester. Now, like... Yikes, bro. Um... Maybe I'm a little biased, but... I don't think they tested this at all. And have we tested the base damage of like the spirit weapon by the way guys? I know we have it imbued so it should do the same damage as like, you know. Or not, not mine. So gold magic actually does more. Um odd. Um maybe they I don't know. Um <laughs> let me test this again. Okay, uh, well, I mean, this makes no sense to me, but, but okay, um, cool. Yeah, well, anyways, that's basically all I have to say, guys. Um, nothing crazy, just more complaints and rants, you know, if you made it this far. Thank you for watching, um, <laughs> come through to Paladin if you're a mage player. And, um, if you're like a weapon user and whatever, right? Maybe think about going over to the Vitality build, like the Knights or Juggernaut. Juggernaut is for strength and Knights is for weapon- Actually, no, I lied. Don't, don't do it. If you're a warrior, you're better off sticking into warrior because of the, you know, you need higher stats to use uh, you know, your weapon, so you can't really trade to Vitality. Well, you can, but only some of it. So you don't benefit as much compared to like Paladin, which, you know, Mage class basically got a huge buff again. I mean, no complaints here, because I play this class a lot, so... <laughs> it is the most convenient, guys, like, come on. This class is so convenient. <laughs> so, that's all I had to say. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Um, think about converting to Paladin. Welcome to my propaganda. Oh yeah.